Welcome to Online Art Time with Mr. Denny. In this video, we're going to be drawing the illusion of space and depth using value and focus. We're going to be drawing a forest. That's why I'm here. I think you're going to like this a lot. For this lesson, you'll want some paper, A5 probably, a pencil, and probably a pencil sharpener. You may also want some colored pens or some colored pencils to do some value work with. To draw the illusion of space using value or focus, we're going to make a forest. Using the pencil, I'm going to draw a line straight across the middle, very softly. I'm just using the side of my pencil. It's a bit sloppy and messy. Notice it was very light and very soft. That's the value. We're going to push very softly for this. Just above that line, I'm going to make just a little kind of, using the side of my pencil, very softly. I'm just going to make kind of a, a, a little line that's just a bit curvy, a bit messy. Just like that. And I'm going to color in all the way to the bottom using the side of my pencil very softly. So I'm going like this all the way to the bottom, using my pencil all the way down the side of my pencil, I'm not using the tip, I'm using the side of my pencil. It's soft, it's a bit messy. I'm trying to get rid of the white bits somewhat, but not too bothered. And I'm just kind of making it smooth, look at that, all the way to the bottom. Keep going, keep going all the way to the bottom. I'm just using an A5 for this because it's nice and small. It, it won't take you too long. If you use a bigger paper, it takes too long sometimes. And there we go. Just nice, soft value. This is tone. And tone has different values. There's hard, medium, and soft, and there's white. And so we're using a very soft kind of number three tone. There we go, nice and soft all the way to the bottom. Okay, good enough. I'm gonna just smudge that a wee bit. Not a lot, but just a wee bit. I'm just gonna smudge that edge so it's not a crisp edge. Look, the edge is a bit soft, it's a bit smudgy. And I'm just kind of smudging around there a little bit. Yeah, there you go, okay, that's good enough. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yucky. Okay, next thing, I'm gonna draw some trees. But when I draw the trees, I'm gonna use the side of my pencil to draw the trees. I'm not using the tip like normal. I'm holding it on its side. I'm just going to draw very loosely some lines like this. Notice they're a bit sketchy. Oh, that one's too neat because there was some blue tack under it where I'm holding it. But look at that. It's a bit messy. Just drawing some lines like this. Look at how fuzzy and messy they are. And some lines overlap. Some lines overlapping there. They're very loose and very soft and very messy. I'm not making them particularly neat. I'm going to do that again. I'm going to try it again. Look, I'm making them so soft. I just... If I make a mistake, it's okay. I'm just kind of moving over there. And this tree overlaps that one a wee bit. That's okay. I'm going to make a branch there. I just feel like it's very soft, very, very loose, very, very sketchy. So simple. Put branches where you want, but not too many. And I'm just going to make another couple. Oh, that was too neat too neat. I want it to be soft and a bit fuzzy. Not perfect. Look at that. A couple overlapping. Okay, that's neat. I'm going to put one too close to that one. So it looks like that one's just a bit behind that one or in front or something. There we go. So there's a couple trees. I don't want them too evenly spaced, you see. i just put another. Because trees aren't always neatly spaced in real life. Okay, there we go. I think that's maybe enough in the background. Okay, there we go. Now, maybe one more over there. That's fine. Just a couple branches will do. That's enough. Next, I'm going to make another line from the left to the right. And when I do this one, I'm going to use the side of my pencil again. But I'm going to do a little bit harder this time. It's a little bit harder. It's a little bit darker. It's not, not particularly neat. It's a little bit crisper than the last one. It's not so fuzzy. And it's a little bit darker. And again, I'm going to curl it all the way to the bottom, about the same darkness. Not black. We do not want black yet. We'll get black later. 
You could use colors for this as well, by the way. If you wanted to use a variations of value of color, for instance, shading, that's shading, you could use uh, like green in the background, like a light, soft green pencil. You could use a dark green, a uh, middle green for what I'm doing here, kind of a bit darker than the light green, but not dark green yet, you see? And then you could, for the last layer, you could use really dark green you can see where this is going, can't you? Okay, so there we go. I got some hills there. Yeah, it's a bit fuzzy still, but it's a bit more in focus. And now I'm going to add another couple trees on top of that. But this time I'm using the side of my pencil, but I'm pushing a bit harder. You can see that they're a bit harder there. Because there's that blue tack again. All right. So you can see it's a bit darker, isn't it? You see that? Still, it's quite messy, isn't it? And I can go any which way I want with the branches. I don't have to follow any pattern. And I don't mind if they overlap a bit. And look, using the side of your pencil is quite nice for this. It's quite nifty because it gives a kind of wider branch line. And notice I'm just making lines here or there. There we go. I've got a few branches. And I'm just using lines like that back and forth, kind of a sketchy style. I think I'm going to make, a, I'm going to make one right here. Not black yet, but it's dark. It's definitely dark. Or it overlaps that one a little bit. What a mess, huh? If you don't like one, don't worry about it, because it's just a tree, and trees are natural. They grow all over the place. There we go. I think that's quite enough. I think I've, I, I think I've, I think I've done okay on that one. Okay, finally. We're going to add a really hard layer. So this time I'm going to push really hard I'm using the side of my pencil because I can really get a nice wide tip for that. I can now really blacken it. Oh my gosh, it's so dark that I think I'm actually going to have to... My pencil's getting duller. I think I'm actually going to have to sharpen my pencil. I actually I have to sharpen that because it's just so really dulling up there, isn't it? Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Try this one. So I've just sharpened my pencil and I'm just using the side of it again. Is that really dark this time though? So now I'm really getting hard. I'm just really pushing hard. And again, I'm calling all the way to the bottom. Getting in all those white bits, no white bits. No white bits. I really want this dark. You may have to sharpen your pencil two or three times because you know this is the part where you're using the side of your pencil just to really, really make that darkness. If you do have a few white bits, uh, it's not really the end of the world. It won't be too bad. But no white bits. Okay, well maybe, maybe a few. Yeah, okay. And get over there. Notice I keep switching directions with my pencil, because to get those edges, you you don't want to go all over the table and make a mess. I don't think that would be too good, but a little bit of mess. You just as long as you clean it up. You know, you don't want to leave a mess for someone else. Always clean up your own messes. It's really important. Ah, that's good. Now I'm going to really focus on that edge there. I'm going to actually make that edge a bit neater now, you see? So that edge I'm making nice and neat. I'm actually making it crisp, I guess is a better way to say it. And I'm going to actually use the point now. It's quite a sharp point now. And I'm going to add a few little kind of plants on there, just some little bushes. You can see some little grass growing there. Maybe there's another couple little bushes here. Because this has some focus now, you see? There we go. And this one has a bit more detail, you see? Well, the other ones don't have much detail. Okay, that's good enough. Now I'm going to add some of those trees again. This time I'm pushing really super hard. I'm just going back and forth and making straight lines. But look at how hard I'm pushing. 
I'm pushing as hard as I can. This is a number one tone. I'm pushing as hard as I can without making the pencil break. But I'm really am pushing hard. If you do break it, don't worry. You can always sharpen it. Really do want to push hard. Thicker at the bottom, but not too thick. And look at that. Look at that tree starting to emerge out of there. I'm just making lines back and forth. Got a bit of blue tack under there too. Look at that. And you can always add a branch on. You want to make it stick out a wee bit more. Don't be afraid to let them overlap because trees overlap a lot. Remember, I've repeated that. I know that. But it's true. Really hard. Look at that. You can see far away in the distance. You can see here up close there's some trees. And I think I'll put one over here. Just feel like one right there. Look at how hard. You can even hear it. Remember, you're going quite quickly and you're making some mistakes and your hand's going to get tired. This is good. You need to keep practice when you're in school. You can do this really easy. And look at that. Oh, this is going to overlap that one. Look at that. Isn't that nice? And there you go. A forest with depth. I think I'll just add one more tree way over here. Just to add that really idea of the depth going through that forest there. I wouldn't be rubbing out any of my lines because I like having them a bit messy. Look at that. Really as dark as I can make it. I can't push any harder. Literally, my pencil's flexing a bit. There you go. The illusion of space using value and focus. The ones in the background are fuzzy and soft. The ones in the middle are a bit clearer and a bit darker. And the ones at the forefront are really dark and quite detailed and quite crisp. I hope you enjoyed that. Use some colors, color it in, or use some colors and try this again with different kinds of colors, even crazy schemes like yellow, orange, and red, or light blue, dark blue, and purple. Give it a try. I think you've come up with some really amazing things.